you know, Prabhupada said the same thing. If if they don't love G O D God, they'll love D O G dog. Right? Because every the soul has to love. The the soul must be attached to something. So if they don't love God, then they they do deity worship to their dog. You know, they put a little vest on the dog. They make an offering of food to the dog. They wake the dog up in the morning. Then they take him for his ritual walk. It's just like puja or deity worship, right? It's the same thing. Now, now if you don't have a dog, you can get a little tamaguchi and then you can do puja to the tamaguchi. And then when the tamaguchi dies, then you have to scan the internet for a tamaguchi graveyard and send them to the graveyard. You have a ceremony. Yeah, it's a whole thing. These people are nuts, man, you know. They, but it's the soul trying to love God. <laughs> You know, this, this is a perverted thing, you know. Just like, I know we'll talk about something, in, in Bhagavad Gita we talk, in chapter 17 we'll get into all these things also. And because there's different kinds of worship and different modes of nature, so I don't want to spoil it and tell you all these other funny examples that I have in my mind right now. He says, greed for wine, women and wealth is the most contrary to bhakti, most insidious greed. Wine, women, and wealth. Of course, nowadays people, men and men, men have greed for other men, women have greed for other women. So, the Acharyas, they didn't even dream such things would happen. Therefore, they don't write about it in the book. But now, in New York City, probably 40% of the men walking on the street are homosexual. Yeah. I remember when I grew up in, in New York City, I'm from New York City, and I used to go as a teenager looking for a club or a bar where they play music and, you know, serve drinks. And I couldn't find one bar which was straight. There were no clubs or bars in New York in 1973 uh, that weren't homosexual <laughs> or at least half homosexual. That was, the, that was the straightest kind of bar you can find, was half homosexual. Yeah, there were no straight pubs or clubs in New York. And, and now what it must be like, I don't even, can't even imagine. That was 25 years ago. And when I, was, when I walked to the high school every day, I had to go past this uh, homosexual strip bar and had pictures of men, you know, you know, <laughs> you know and they get up on the stage and they beat each other with chains, and I won't even tell you the, you know, what the other things they do with the chains. And then, and then they, you know, have sex with each other. And guy, you know, people come, they pay twenty bucks, and they drink, and they watch these guys, you know, have sex on the stage. And this is 1973 in New York City, 25 years ago. And now it's worse. I don't know what. I can't even imagine what they're doing now. Maybe they're having sex with Tamaguchi. Or something, you know? <laughs> Two Tamaguchis having sex. <laughs> so this is really perverted lullium, right? <laughs>